Fred, um, you guys were in the game right, right for the last few minutes. You must feel a bit gutted not to come through there. Yeah, very disappointed. Um, some of the last week, you know, you yeah. all these games and, and balance and we're not getting the result. Um, I'll run to the Lions. They had more composure and they got that job done. And for us, um, you know, it's disappointing that uh, we've had the learnings from that. And, uh, yeah, we've got another tough trip to Argentina next week. So. Yeah, you you said that you have to absorb quite a bit in this game and then come to front of you. Yeah. No, we just came to play footy. We weren't worried about thinking about absorbing or whatever. We were just here to compete. And, um, and um, yeah, it was, it was uh, wet conditions from early in the day. It's a little bit dewy, slippery, but um, it was good for yeah, you know, it was good for playing footy out there. And uh, I think the Lions did you know, a lot of good things. Um, I think there was mo- times where we did a lot of good stuff as well. Um, but there's also times where we um, can be our worst enemy, you know, um, to yell at cards <laughs> one time. You know. So yeah, that's sort of a story a bit at the moment, um, last week as well, so we've got to rectify that. They all um, caused you a lot of problems in that game as well. Yeah, yeah, they all uh, well, and um, initially yeah, we were struggling to stop it, and it's the game we were on, yeah, we got a little bit of space around that, so, um, you know, that's, that's a you know, part of the game, and, um, um, we had our opportunities as well, so, um, yeah. Do you feel that the team was a bit lethargic after the second half? The team was a bit lethargic after the second half? Um, no, I think they were just competing. Both teams were competing. I didn't think they were overly more lethargic than the Lions. It was just, um, everyone was throwing everything at it. And it was, um, um, yeah, it was very competitive to the end. You know, that, that's why you got a seven point game, you know, and we were in front, and they were in front. So, yeah, it's just tough games of footy. That's how they go. Your scrum held up pretty well, JP, put in a good performance against Yanni. Yeah, yeah, good to see Yanni um, back. How old, how old is he now? 38. 38, 37. Yeah. He could play, yeah. he, um, he's, uh, he's a really good guy. Uh, it's good to see him. He's coming back to South African rugby. I'm sure the front rowers there will be learning a lot off him. Uh, he's, a, he's a fine, fine guy. But um, yeah, um, yeah, we we feel our scrum is, is something um, that you know, we, we look for dominance there. And the set piece around, I guess, a lot out. As you said, it's a bit disappointed with a lot out deep. You know, proved at the latter part, but. Um, yeah, these these things are you know, stuff we look to you know, to get good results on. Um, but aside from that, you know, Lions played good rugby, uh, kept showing up and D, um, and you know, had some good moments with the ball, and you know they got the result. So uh, tough one. Brad, there's been a lot of talk, um, sort of bigger picture talk about the future of Super Rugby and you know, the strength of the, the sides in Australia. And, South Africa's inclusion in the future. Do you have any thoughts about any of that stuff? No, I'm not really for me to comment. I'm just, I'm just a coach. You know, I'm just coaching my, my group of guys, and um, you know, um, we've been working away, and um, you know, we've got a, 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 you know, a vision of um, where we want Queensland to get to, and um, you know, the guys have been putting in, but. Uh, you know, two tough ones, two weeks in a row. Uh, I guess I'm not positive, you know, take a bonus point out of that. I did so last week, but you don't want to be doing that. You want to be um, you know, handling those key moments and, and winning those sort of tight games. That's probably a, probably the step for us we need to take. Do you see um, any um, sort of Improvement after the World Cup for the South African teams. I mean, have you seen that? Sort of, I know it's early days. But, um. Yeah, they look like you know, you know, today was a solid game, but the other teams are doing really well. And 
and they did well. Uh, South African, obviously, they won a World Cup. It's so special and great injection for South African rugby. And fans are you know, really on board and sponsors. And um, you know, it's great seeing South African, South African rugby strong. You know, from I think just for world rugby's sake. Is it fair though to say that? The way the Lions performed here today, they don't really look like the side that's been in the final three of the last four years of the competition. Uh, it's not for me to sort of critique them on their chances. You know, like I said, I've got my own group of guys and I try and achieve some stuff. So I guess as the season plays out, you know, we'll see how, how it goes. Um, just remember the Lions came back from Argentina as well. Mm -hmm. So we had our long haul trip here, they had theirs. So um, there's not not many sports in the world that do what we do. When we we're doing a round the world trip. They went over and came back. Um, so um, yeah. And for yourself, I mean, even though it's now two losses, to in both get a, a bonus point for losing the leg by less than seven or seven or less. Is that at least the point? That's obviously at least the positive, and the team looks as though there's direction. Yeah, there's, there's some stuff going on there. It's just, uh, yeah, yeah um, it's frustrating. But, you know, some of those two yellow cards, when you're sort of self reflecting on some stuff, that's the frustrations. You know, you, you want to, um, don't want to take away from the Lions or the Brummies, but you, know, you don't want to be helping, you know, beating yourself or you know, assisting with that happening. <laughs> and um, you know, it makes it hard when you're down to 13 there. Um, one stage, or just little errors and, and, and moments where you can, you know, um, where you can take some opportunities. So, yeah, it's it's something that we need to um, to continue to work on. And those moments in games where you can, uh, you know, you win or lose them, we've got to um, get our heads around that. Cool. Thanks, Bill. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.